Welcome to Vatican 6. I'm your host Titan and in today's video we have Republican Representative Liz Cheney of the state of Wyoming. I like her. She's a woman with a sense of purpose, drive, spine, and determination to see it through. Let's get into it. Thank you very much Mr. Chairman and, and I again want to thank the witnesses for being here today. Uh, after today I suspect that uh, there will be some who label you agents of the deep state or something else conspiratorial or nonsensical uh, meant to justify ignoring what you've said today, uh, ignoring the facts. That may be uh, the short-term cost of acting honorably and telling the truth, but your actions should have an important long-term impact. They will help keep us on the course set by the framers of our Constitution. Let me paraphrase the words of John Adams and others. Whether ours shall continue to be a government of laws and not of men is ultimately for the American people to decide. And let me also today make a broader statement to millions of Americans who put their trust in Donald Trump. In these hearings so far, you've heard from more than a dozen Republicans who've told you what actually happened in the weeks before January 6th. You will hear from more in the hearings to come. Several of them served Donald Trump and his administration, others in his campaign. Others have been conservative Republicans for their entire careers. It can be difficult to accept that President Trump abused your trust, that he deceived you. Many will invent excuses to ignore that fact, but that is a fact. I wish it weren't true, but it is. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I yield. Now let's get into this. What has she done to be held in such disdain by her own party? Not agree with all of Trump's stances? Is that justified? I think not. She has a lack of respect for Mr. Trump because he lacks morality. Trump was fine with speaking down on, on his opponents, even members of his own party. He is okay with and incites violence. Trump encouraged the big lie, pushed the big lie, and almost brought our country to the tipping point of democracy. Riots are bad no matter when they happen. It doesn't matter where they happen. A riot in Seattle, which causes unrest and property damage, maybe some police get injured. That's a very bad thing. Like I say, riots are bad. It's not in the same league or galaxy is storming and committing property damage in an attempt to stop the certification of an election at one of the country's most sacred buildings. Representative Cheney seems like a wonderful lady, a lady who has a particular system of values and principles that adds to her strong points of her core, of her foundation. Seems to me the Republican Party needs more people who choose country over party. Representative Cheney has lost all her community assignments due to spineless, misguided Republicans who put Trump before party, before the country, before principles, even before faith. The framers did not want one man having so much power. I consider Representative Cheney a straight talker since that seems to be the latest style. I would prefer not to hear Trump's straight talk. I'll listen to Mrs. Cheney's. The reason why? Her straight talk is soundly based, thoroughly researched, and most importantly, based upon fact. She deserves to be reelected if she so chooses. This is Vatican Six. I'm your host, Titan, and I'm gone.